Hey guys, let's continue to the course. As I've mentioned before, in order, in order to extract the flood inundation map, you need to have flood depths. So uh, we extracted the rating curve for our reach, and so we have different depths for different flow values. And uh, for example, you can calculate the flood uh, with return periods of 100, and then based on the rating curve, you can uh, calculate the flood depths. For example, in this curve, uh, for the flow value of 2000 uh, cubic uh, meter per second, the flood depth is equals about uh, 4 meters. Okay, uh, after calculating the rating curve for our reach, you need to uh, come back to uh, ArcGIS environment and in the tool section, find the raster calculator function. Okay, click on raster calculator. Let me check the hand raster. And in the previous uh, video, I discussed about uh, this layer. And you know, the hand value is a normalized uh, raster according to the river network's elevation. Okay, let's open this layer. Okay, uh, uh, now we want to extract flood inundation map for floods with the depths of 4 meter. So uh, in the cal raster calculator function, I select hand raster and choose this sign. It means that I want to find the cell, uh, hand cell values uh, lower than 4 meters. And let me to store this layer as flood map for meter. Okay, press save and then okay. And after a while, you can find the flood uh, inundation maps for uh, these flood depths. Let me delete this layer and you know. Uh, we have two codes, 0 and 1. 0 indicates that the hand value is higher than 4 meter, and the red color indicates that the flood depths or hand values lower than 4 meter. Let me clear the color. I select hollow and no color. Okay. Uh, this figure presents the flood inundation maps for these uh, flood depths. Okay, now you can do these processes uh, for different uh, floods and extract the flood inundation maps for your case study. Again, I go to the raster calculator and again select hand raster. And here I want to calculate the flood inundation map for floods lower than 6 meter. And I want to store this layer as flood map 6 meter. Okay. Again, uncheck the zero value layer. And you can change the color of uh, cell value, cell areas that have flood depths lower than 6 meter. Okay, let me. Uh, drop down uh, this layer in order to better representation of flood values. Okay, you can see the flood inundation map for different floods, depths. And again, I want to do this for other depths, for example, lower than, for example, 8 meter. Okay, again, set no color for this layer and change the color of this layer. For example, select blue color. Okay, drop it down to the lower layer. Okay, now you can uh, find the flood inundation maps or flood extents for different return periods and for high extreme flood and low value flood values. Uh, in this uh, section, you can uh, 
convert this layer from raster base to polygon format in order to better uh, representation or better editing in the future. Uh, now you can use the ArcBrutile extension in order to load the Google satellite or other online web sources to present your case study. Okay, let me select the Bing satellite image or you can click or select hybrid layer. This is a free extension and you can easily find it uh, through the uh, web and install it for your, uh, for your ArcGIS version. Okay, let me drop it down to the lowest layer. And let me to zoom in in a specific area. Okay, in order to better <clears throat> see the uh, satellite image layers, let me uncheck this layer. Right click on the flood tips and go to the property. And in display section, uh, change the brightness or contrast of your layer. Let me to change the transparency. And by changing transparency, you can easily uh, see all about the features on the ground for your case study. Let me to increase this value to 70%. And now you can find the flooded or inundated section. For example, in this section, we have different agricultural, agricultural regions, and most of them are flooded for this uh, flow. Let me load, okay. And you can see that this method can easily extract flood maps and flood extents for different returns period, and you don't have difficulty uh, for using or for setting up uh, complicated hydraulic models such as uh, Lisfalot or Hecras or Mike or other 2D models. And also uh, these are raster base and let me to convert it to polygon base. And again I go to the tool section, section and write the raster to polygon. And select raster to polygon. Okay, for example, I select flat 80 meter and select a suitable name for the output layer flat inundated 8 meter. Okay, and you can take the simplified polygon to uh, simplify the output of the layers. Okay, and now we have a big polygon layer with different values. If you right click on the uh, flood non dated layer and go to the open attribute table, you can find that there is a column with the name of grid code ranging from 0 and 1. Let me to sort to this layer from lower values to higher values. Okay, as I mentioned before, zero values indicate that the hand value uh, cells uh, are higher than 8 meter and the value of 1 indicates that that uh, those uh, cells have a hand value lower than eight value. And so in this case, we want to choose all cells that have inundated uh, value lower than eight meters. So uh, we must remove zero values. Okay, let me use editor extension and start editing and select flood inundated eight meter. And again, right click on the selected layer, select open attribute table. And in this case, you can use table option for select and use select by attribute. It's 
the best choice for uh, selecting a specific values from different values. Okay, let me select grid code, get unique value, and I want to select those cells that have grid code, uh, grid code equals zero. Okay, grid code, press equal, and this is value, and uh, click on apply. And you know, from all uh, cells, just about 242 cells are selected. And you can easily right click on the left side and click on delete uh, selected. And you know, the zero values or grid code, uh, code equals zero, all removed. Okay, again, go to the editor section and stop editing. And you can easily extract the flood inundation map, flood inundation layer for your case. And you can send it to Google Earth or other GIS environment. Let me to fill, uh, set fill color to no color. And the outline width about 1.0 and select outline color as, for example, blue. Okay, you know, this is flood maps or flood extents for a flood uh, depth about eight meter. And this is Bing satellite. And you can see we extracted the flood extents for all river. For example, the main rivers and tributary rivers from several locations. And you can do these processes for different floods and extract flood extents for different uh, uh, values. Okay, I think uh, all uh, of the steps are discussed and uh, I stop this, uh, this video here. And in the next video, I talk about how can you use a hand raster output for uh, extraction or calculation of flood depths because you know uh, for flood damage estimation the flood depth is one of the most important values and so we should extract or find a way to calculate these important hydraulic parameters and so uh, I stop this video here and in the next video I will discuss about flood depth raster.